Now here is a tutorial on how you can put a password on your iPhone's hidden photos. And there are also some things you should have right. So first of all, you should make sure that you run the latest version of your iOS. So go to the software update section and make sure that you at least run something like iOS 16 because on the older versions, it's just not available. So make sure to update to the latest iOS and we can proceed with that. Then what you need to do is, as you are in the settings right now, scroll down to find the photos section. So it should be somewhere around in here so in this click on photos and if you scroll down a bit and you should have the option to use passcode for me as you can see it is grayed out meaning that your passcode as you can see here is a description your passcode is required to view the hidden and recently deleted albums so this is what we want to achieve but for me it doesn't work it's not clickable so if you want to like use it make sure to come back to the settings and go to the um, password section so face id and passcode and make sure to set up a passcode so turn the passcode on just go for the four digit or whatever you want just something simple it's gonna um tell me that it is too simple but it doesn't matter it's just for the purposes of the video once you set this up properly you can then come back to the photos section once again and this should already be clickable and by default it is turned on so coming back to photos to see what it looks like i have some basic photos whatever so whenever you want to hide a photo just click on the three dots at the top click on hide like this hide photo confirm now it's hidden so what you can do is be in the album section and at the bottom you can see hidden there is the lock icon meaning you cannot freely access it tap on it to view album you need to type the passcode in so it was this simple one now i can view it however there's also another thing you should know about because you cannot make the password option the default one it's most likely gonna default to face id so on this iphone we do not have face id set up so when we go in here and try to unlock this folder it goes to the password right away but if you use Face ID on your iPhone and you want to go to the uh, hidden folders like this, so you can see on this iPhone 14, I use uh, Face ID a lot. I have it set up properly. And now if I want to access the hidden photos, I'm going to tap on it and it defaults to using Face ID. So you can see, try Face ID again. You cannot even type in the password. The passcode cannot be used because you have the Face ID set up. Here on this iPhone, we don't have Face ID ready. So we can begin with the basic password and try Face ID again. It doesn't work. So until you can see after two tries, it's going to give up and allow you to enter the passcode. But other than that, it just goes default to the face ID. So this is something I kind of thought that you should know about. So yeah, this is how you can set it up. Besides that, there are some other options. For example, I recently showed you some hidden calculator app. I mean, there are plenty of them, but I can show you that I have the calculator plus photo lock. So you can see it looks like this, but basically, as you can see, this application it works like a regular calculator, but it also allows you to like use secret passcode to like hide your photos there. And that's the point I wanted to make because you can also like use uh, this type of app. Of course, as you can see, it doesn't work the best way, but uh, there are some others available on the app store. So I'm going to like link them down below in uh, the description. If you want to check it out, it's like a different way to hide photos. You probably want to stick with the basic photos application, but uh, the point is that you can also do it differently through some third party app and some secret ways how you can actually do it. But yeah, this was just everything what I wanted to say. Anyways, hope the video helped you out for more content. Make sure to subscribe to Fox Tech because here I publish a lot of tutorials and I think you're going to find it helpful. And also check out the next video right here, which is going to be related to you and you should be able to find value in it. <laughs>